So I'm gonna look at breaking apart the computer from the forwarder. The screen flickers a little. It could be maybe it's apparently quite common that the power supply gets worn out the connection. So hopefully it's something that can be fixed. Taking a few pictures if I get questions about how things were bolted on here. Uh, I'm just giving you a heads up. This is going to be a quite a uh, long video. Hopefully it can help someone else having issues with an uh, older Maxi computer from a Valmet forest machine. If you have ever broken apart a normal home computer, there isn't a whole lot different. You have to be careful with things you take apart there are a few things where they have glued things in place making it a little you need to cut that off or in this one it seems could be seen that it had been open in the past have a look at replacing the fan as a precaution also there is a whole lot of tiny little screws you have to just be careful Bring, taking them apart, making sure you get all of them. Some of them you don't remove, remove all of it. It's kind of a slot so you can lift things out. Here I'm fiddling with removing the connection to the dimmer controller that's on the front of the computer. Uh, with that the uh, kind of computer part can be lifted off the chassis the front with the, just a glass window protecting it here uh, you can see the actual screen trying to remove that also with all the bolts removed you can start tilting it up and then there is a connection here is the actual data transfer to the screen and on the other side there is a power connection I'm also removing later uh, I also wanted to take a backup of the software I hear even the authorized dealers have issues with the software these days because Microsoft has zero support for the old XP Windows XP that this computer is based on so, and getting to the hard drive was a little trickier than I hoped. Need to remove the CD unit for it. Doubt that will ever be used again, but who knows, so I'm keeping it for now at least. There are a few tricky screws under there you need to find. Uh, with that removed you can see there are two bolts underneath here as they are they hold the hard drive in place and the other two are hol holding both the CD and the hard drive in place I forgot to miss recording ran out of power when I removed the hard drive you can see it laying down there taking some pictures uh, making sure I can uh, reconnect the power supply for the display unit when I bolt it back up Uh, removing the, the all the little parts holding the cover for all the ports back here. There is a ring on the power supply that with two screwdrivers and a pair of pliers you could kind of get a twisting motion to get it to start moving. Uh, with that uh, lifted off I had good access to see everything looked good uh, as I heard that the power port is a known weak spot on these it tends to start breaking with vibrations over the years but that looked absolutely great the power supply feels quite solid I don't really see any sign of anything breaking there so but I did notice that one of the components near the black port here uh, was kind of broken and that one corresponded quite well with the point where you needed to push uh, on it when it was flickering it kind of went away. Uh, with the hard drive out I started looking at s different softwares to do the backup 
my first attempt didn't work very well so I had to change to a different software. Decided to get the circuit board with that broken component out, making some markings on the connections to ensure I get them back in the correct location, taking pictures so I can go back and see see where I'm at. Here I have to kind of pry away a little of that uh, uh, glue they have put on there at some point. Uh, then it was just a matter of ensuring you I was able to remove all the connections to this s part of the computer a little fiddly but not too bad if you have been putting it together a normal home computer you should be fine doing this took some ex extra pictures b before removing the last few bits uh, here is, was a couple of connections over here on the side also that needed to be removed Some of the bolts here were a little stripped, so I had to play around with the bits I had. I ended up replacing a couple of them because I had some leftovers from some old computer in a box that had the correct thread. Some of them were stuck on there hard enough that I needed to bring pliers out and get a little more torque being able to get them to start coming undone and uh, I later talked to the seller he had had the computer into some guy and had the power port replaced so that's probably part of why it felt so solid that it had been recently replaced but it might have been that component that was broken that I found that was the issue to start with so with everything removed it could be lifted out and I could start getting a really good look at that component it took me like half a day of searching the internet to find the replacement it turned out to be some condensator with a resistor built into it so I have received a new solid state hard drive I plan to put in the computer on the forwarder for now to see if I can manage to get it working I will start trying to transfer the program and then go I have some new parts for the computer itself also have to take care one pin is missing and one is missing in the connector also so you can't try to jam it in there the wrong way so hmm. I thought they have ordered five of them as you can see I ended up with a whole lot of these uh, uh, extra components so if anyone is watching this and have ru run into the same issue as I had contact me and I'll send you a new component for free had some issues getting the old component out the first soldering iron I used uh, wasn't very good and this uh, butane cordless unit isn't really very good either so but after a little fiddling with it and then using that suction thing to remove most of the solder eventually I was able to get all the pins out Let's see this might run into trouble because it makes two backups of each partition well we'll see what happens So now it's a waiting game. 
still one I couldn't really get clear enough that I wanted but I solved it by uh, shortening one of the uh, pins on the component and uh, then heated it up and pushed it in uh, we threw the solder that was still stuck there uh, then it was just about soldering the new component in place uh, looks okay I think I added a little more solder to it Fine, so but uh, and then that should be good enough to cut these yeah some scissors to cut it and okay. uh, remove the excess uh, now it was about bolting it back in place uh, yeah, it looks ran, good. ran into some issues not hitting it like it used to yeah, yeah. In place a putting a few bolts there so it's kind of s sitting where it should putting back all the connectors and I'm reusing this fan since the connectors on the fan was wrong. I had ordered new fan, but, but new fans, and, but the small one was not the correct one. I've since purchased the correct one, but for now, this one is actually a, has a, a sensor that it, if it fails, it should shut down the computer. So hopefully, uh, I think that's function still works I should look that up in the settings on the computer at some point just used uh, uh, pliers here you could have found a smaller socket enough but I didn't bother Yeah, here I'm playing with installing the hard drives after after I had transferred the software over to that solid state drive I had purchased. Uh, I put the other two uh, bolts in place also. There are a few small little kind of spacers main, meant to reduce uh, vibrations may mainly. I never showed them really well but I put all four bolts in place and ensure the spaces were where they should. I had to remove two of them now when bolting the CD unit in place. The small bolts on the side are a little tricky. Put hooking up the data cable for it. Then it's the display. Uh, putting that back on there. Uh, ensuring that all the connections are where they should be. four screws holding that in place uh, uh, and then it's about uh, reconnecting the power supply for it that was actually a little tricky to get them in, in place had to go back and check the photos to ensure I could connect to them as they should be uh, it's kind of in there in between the uh, parts under the circuit board so but after a little fiddling I got both connectors back in place removed any dust from the housing uh, and then it was about securing the computer back in there uh, trying to hook up that uh, controller for the dimmer is the, there is a little knob you can turn on the front had to revert back to the pictures to see where it was supposed to hook back up ah there we go now it feels like we're close to buttoning everything up uh, then it's getting uh, all the screws in place the back plate holding the fan uh, uh, just uh, I realized I had a, 
uh, fan ordered I almost forgot to change that one so unbolted that one oops missed recording when I fiddled with the getting the new because I had had to reuse the housing didn't find to order that but I had new pins so I could leave pins on this one and just lay in a box of spare parts uh, glued that uh, dust net back in place because I had to remove that to unbolt the fan so now we're ready to start assembling uh, the back uh, plate I reconnected the fan I also found out that I had messed up I had forgotten the, the ring securing that power outlet so I ended up having to backtrack a little and remo remove a few things to find that again because it was uh, stuck there inside the computer here I'm going back in I was able to because I could he hear it rattling around here is the missing ring did the same as when I removed it two screwdrivers and and a pair of pliers So, back with the cover again, this time, last time, I was uh, missing one of the bolts holding the uh, mount plate. Uh, so I had purchased some new small screws, secured everything with a little bit of Loctite and it was about fitting it back into the machine and then doing a test start and absolutely zero flickering. So probably that component was cause causing all the issues so hopefully it will run great for a long time now <laughs> 